Thank you, Madam Speaker. At this time, I would like to recognize the highest ranking officer that serves in Congress today who has served with many of the men and women who will benefit from this bill today, General Jack Berkman from Michigan. I would like to yield him two minutes. Gentleman from Michigan is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in strong support today of S-3373, the Sergeant First Class Heath Robinson honoring our promise to address Comprehensive Toxics Act of 2022. I'd also like to associate myself with the comments of our Republican leader on Veterans Affairs, Mr. Bost, who also happens to be a fellow Marine. And uh, he articulated very well the elements of where we were and where we are and where we're going. This is the latest version of what many of my constituents know as the PACT Act, and it has only improved since it passed the House last March. As a Vietnam veteran myself, and as the ranking member of the House Veterans Affairs Subcommittee on Health, I am more than familiar with the struggles faced by veterans, young and old, across our nation who have been exposed to toxic sub substances during their time of service. This legislation will finally establish a comprehensive framework for the VA to provide veterans and their survivors for generations to come with the toxic exposure-related care and benefits that they deserve. For example, this bill will instantly provide presumptive benefits for veterans and survivors who are terminally ill, homeless, over the age of 85, experiencing extreme financial hardship, or able to show another emergent need. It will also supercharge toxic exposure research, improve the way in which the VA interacts with toxic exposed veterans, and authorize 31 major medical facility leases. Whether it's from burn pits or Agent Orange, toxic exposure is perhaps the most widespread and urgent issue facing our military community. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting this bipartisan solution based on what the veterans themselves have been telling us for a long time. It is time to act, and I yield back.